Now we're going to do another activity with water and this one is a water painting. So I've got here, this is the thing I spray my plants with, so there's water inside it and then you can spray it by just pressing and go like that. I think you can see the spray of water coming out and I'm spraying this white piece of card with water. It's paper really. There, I've sprayed that, it doesn't need an awful lot. Now, you can choose any colour you like. So here I've got a, a blue colour and I'm just going to put some little dots of blue. I'm squeezing on. One, two, three, four. Oh, one already did its own thing. Five, I'm going to put five like that, close it down. <clears throat> Now, if you're very clever, <laughs> this might be a bit of fun. I've got a straw here, and if you're clever, you can blow down your straw, put it in your mouth, and you blow really where the dots are. So I'm going to have a go now. I'm going to try and blow this dot down here. I'm taking a big breath, and I'm gonna go. Can you see how it's got bigger? Let's try this one in the middle, shall we? I'm taking a big breath again. Wow, that's gone a long way, that one, hasn't it? This little one here I'm going to leave because it's really a special little small one. I'm going to try this one over here now. I'm going to give it a blow, right? I did puffing blows that time. It looks a bit different, doesn't it? And over here, I'm going to try this one. I don't know if you can see that one. Let's move it down a bit. This one I'm going to try. Shall I try it from on top? Like that. So you can see you've already got some lovely patterns emerging. I think it's fun to use more than one colour. So I thought, let's choose another colour. I chose blue because when we think about water, I was thinking of the lovely blue sea on a summer's day. <coughs> but what's also nice on a summer's day is to see the lovely green flowers and the green stalks and the green glass. So I'm going to put a few blobs of green on as well. Just a few little drops there and there, here and there. See, can you see it's already moving? It's moving on the water by itself. I'm not blowing at the moment, it's just doing it by itself. I don't know if you can see that. Some of them are beginning to look a little bit yellow as well. Oopsie, that's a bit, a bit too soft there. Smudging it. There. I don't know if you can see that. So let's give a blow and see what happens, because it's what's fun about this, you can make lots and lots of different patterns. I'm going to blow them here. Some of my yellow has gone on top of the blue over here. Let's try this one. Ooh, it's going all over the place. Can you see it's moving? Let's put a little bit of, let's put a bit of green on top of this blue in the middle. Boing, like that. Let's try again, see what happens. Oh, that's looking interesting. <clears throat> so you can see, it's very simple. You just wet your water. You can do it with a brush if you want. I've used my spray can there. Then you just put a dab of paint. You can choose different colors. And then with your straw, you just blow and make a lovely pattern. So, what you can also do, if you want to try something interesting, is take another piece of paper, put it on top like this, and press it down with your hand like that. You're making a kind of a print now. Press it down like that, nice and strongly. And then if we lift it up, let's see what it looks like. I don't know what it's going to look like because it's always a surprise. See, that 
that's the that's the print we've just made. Here's the first one. This is the one we made with blowing and, and when it was all moving around in the water. And this is the one we just printed on top. And I think that looks quite fun as well, doesn't it? So we've got two lovely pictures there. Just for making one, you can get another one as a print. Put that over there. I'll just show you one that I did a bit earlier in different colours. Here's another one I did. You can see it's like that. But you can also, when it's dry, you can add your own special touches. So, for example, this one is red and green. And I have got some more red paint here. So I'm going to paint 